guess what y'all i got one more video to make <laughs> and i think this is it um three in one day wow i had a thought after i concluded the other video and it has to do with me personally i don't know if anybody else is dealing with the same thing or have dealt with it and if you have please feel free to um respond in the comment section and and you know i would love to you know hear what god has put on your heart in regards to you know that or any other thing that may be on your heart um but um this this thought I had was, okay, I, I literally went through this situation the other day. And I had like, I'll just say I had two very, to me, humbling experiences, <laughs> if I'm using the right word. Because I'll just say this. I think that sometimes um, God will allow us to experience certain situations to keep us at that humble point, to show us that it's his grace that's helping us. That we, now I I, I think I, I, I kind of understand um, why Jesus always mentions you don't want to get arrogant. You don't want to, um, you don't want to be um, proud. You don't want to be boastful. You don't want to be um, um, all of those pompous words, you know, different things that like you're almost exhorting yourself, you know, like so high, like you're so this. And, you know, in my past, I have even, you know, sometimes pride will seep in our hearts and we don't even know it. And we'll think, oh, I got it together. I got it together. But then God got to show you, uh, not really. <laughs> You're a work in progress. I'm working on you, you know, and he even have to deal with me in that. Um, and so um, I, I understand what Paul was saying. Like when God showed him so many different things in the spirit realm, things that he couldn't even speak of in the natural. He couldn't even speak of them. Um, he couldn't even really speak on them in English because he said that, you know, they were literally unspeakable, the things that God showed him. And um, even to the point of where we are in our walk, you know, we always want to be at that humble point where God can use us. I say that in, 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 in a couple of ways, okay, with three different experiences, okay? So the first experience I had was the week before last. <laughs> I'm walking to Subway and um, mind you, I was just going to get something to eat. Then I was going to service. And <laughs> I'm walking and like I thought my foot had went over the sidewalk, but it didn't. So I fell. And when I fell, I scraped my knees. <laughs> scraped my little pinky finger. I looked at I saw it was bleeding. I'm like, I just sat there like a whole minute on the ground. Like, did this just really happen? Like, I really just fell in public. I saw one car looking over, but how many others saw me? And it was almost as if somebody had pushed me down. <laughs> because I'm like, what just happened? Okay, that was scenario number one. Number two. Um, I wanted to go to get my a physical done. And um I was going to I know here they have this thing called Bon Secours. It's like a caravan they have. And um, you can get like free medical attention, you know, and all that good stuff if you don't have insurance. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go get checked out. I got up extra early, got out there. And um, as I um, 
notice I was the first one there. I'm like, yes, I'm the first one here. I'm going to stand in line. I'm going to get checked out and then I can go home. Well, <laughs> I get out there and um, I saw an elderly woman and it may have been her son or her nephew or her grandson. I don't know who he was, but he drove her there. And so I saw them standing out there. Then I saw this other young lady. She had on like a, um, I want to say it was like either a nursing uniform. It might not have been nursing, um, but she had some kind of uniform on. She was out there. So that made me number three because the other guy was just with his grandma. So that made me like number three in line. So I'm standing there and I'm looking and I'm noticing that the line is growing. And people are steady coming up. And I'm like, okay. So <laughs> um, I'm waiting and I this man is standing behind me. And um, I asked him, I said, you know, I said, what time do they normally come? And he said, 10 o'clock. And I'm thinking, but I've been here since 730. And the paper said 830. And it's almost... 10 o'clock. It was like 9.30, almost 9.45. I'm looking and I'm like, something is not right. So I asked the lady in front of me because I'm beginning to see trucks coming up and these trucks are bringing loads and loads of food. And I'm, I'm and, and, and the people in line, they got out of line to go and put the food in, in this church that we were standing at. And I'm like, Lord, what is going on? Like, where is this caravan? I'm ready to get, you know, this, this, uh, physical. So, um, I finally turned around and I asked, I, I, what I did was I asked the lady in front of me when I saw the food, I was like, so is this a line where, um, I said, do this church feed the homeless? And she said, I think they might do that. I said, okay. So then I asked the man behind me, I said, well, do you still have to have your ID um, for bonds accord to check? And he said, what? And I said, aren't I standing in the line to get, you know, is this bonds accord line to get a physical, you know, medical help? He said, no, this is a food pantry. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so I go inside and I talk to one of the ladies and she calls and tells me that I missed it. They were there last week, but they had another location that particular day. And she gave me their schedule for the following week. And I'm like, Lord, the first thing that came to my mind was, what did you want me to learn from that experience? Okay. The first thing I thought was, okay, number one, I was so caught up into my own feelings. I was so caught up into my own self that I didn't take the time to notice what was going on. And on top of that, to be wise, I asked, was I standing in the right line? And on top of that, I was thinking, God, I didn't minister to anybody while I was in that line. I could have at least, you know, I think right now what I'm trying to say is that it's time for us to be bolder. Um, and it was some, I believe in myself, and I don't want to come down too hard but I just believe that we are in certain situations for a reason. And like I say, that right there was very humbling for me. Number one, I could have got free food, but I didn't stand in line because I was so confused about this appointment and missing it and, and, and just being at, like not even at the right place. But God was still opening the door for me to get food. Although, God, thank you, Lord, I have food, but still I could have got more free food. <laughs> I could have got more free food. Then on top of that, I could have ministered to those in line because a lot of those uh, folk that were in line with me, I could tell they had struggles. I was listening to some of the conversations as I was standing there. I'm like, God, you know, instead of being quiet, you know, I don't want to come up here saying we should do this and we should, we should do that and we should witness and we should minister and I'm not doing it myself. So I was like, Lord, I don't want to be that way. So what are you trying to show me about this situation? And that's when it hit me, you know, not only was I standing in line to get my own free food, God was showing me, Hey, you got food at home, but here's more. <laughs> so you won't run out. 
But on top of that, it was a place where I could have easily just ministered to someone, even if it was just to listen to their problems. You might not come out with a uh, Bible and scripture verses, but just be an ear for them. You never know what God would have you to say to them in the end of their conversation. Okay. So I think I had a third thing that I said I was going to tell, and I'm trying to think of what it was. Give me one second. What was that third thing, Lord? Bring it back. God, right, bring it back. So the subway incident of me falling, very humbling. Standing in the wrong line. Another humbling experience. <laughs> and, you know, I just believe that God corrects those he loves, you know, and we need correction when we are thinking that we're got it together. God is saying, you still got areas you need work on. You still got areas where you can grow, you can learn. And I, truth be told, I think we're going to still be learning when we get into eternity and with Jesus Christ. I really do. I think we're going to still learn of his love and, and, and who he is and why he did and does what he do. And we're going to be learning all of that. And I'm still trying to think of that third point. I should have wrote it down. Um, oh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to hold up no video trying to think of the third point. But I just want to say, in conclusion, <laughs> that, you know, um, I personally want to practice what I preach. I don't want to get up here and say X, Y, Z and don't do Z, Y, X. <laughs> I don't want to get up here and act as though I'm doing all... Oh, Thank you, Lord. Y'all, I just thought of the third one. Here we go. Here we go. Um, here it is. So one time at my church, I go with the um, prison ministry and we um, we minister to a correctional facility out here in Richmond. And so um, we went a couple of weeks ago and I was so sick. My allergies, the doctor gave me, um, what do you call it? Um, he gave me, uh, antibiotics. I forgot the name of it, but because I had this sinus infection, it was really bad. So I was feeling really bad. I had already missed going to the prison ministry the previous week because I was sick. And I was like, I don't care if I'm sick this time I'm going. So we get and I can't just, you know, I can't talk about too much, but we get there and it's a group of about 15 guys and, um, I still was not feeling well, but we could sense the tension that was within the unit we was in. We could sense what was going on in the atmosphere with the guards, me and, um, my leader. Um, and so when we got in there, she was kind of sitting like, we're going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to see what's going to happen because it's a lot going on right now. And I was like, Lord, what do I say? Because I'm not really feeling good today, but Holy Spirit, you use me. And when I tell you that the Holy Spirit took over, I said, Lord, it took me being in a weak point for you to show your strength and to pop through. And he ministered to those young men through me. And I'm just so grateful to God that he gave me everything to say from praying to, to ministering out of his word. I just want to thank you, Jesus, for what you did that day. And it took me being in a weak stance for God to come through and um, show that I'm really the one. And, and, and you know what? Even God showed me in a dream right after that happened, um, right after now, that, that was not a dream. That was real. That really happened. <laughs> but, and four young men came to God in the end of that, that ministry that night. And we were just so grateful to God for those salvations that came through. God is so good because he got those young men in a place to hear the word of God before they go back out into the street. So I just think it's awesome. Anyway, so, um, God showed me in a dream and he really spoke it. He didn't even show it to me. He spoke and he said, it is not you that is doing the praying. It is the Holy Spirit through you doing the praying 
to Jesus Christ. You know, it's Jesus Christ using us to pray and, and, and he is responding to our prayers. You know, it's not, a lot of times we think, oh, I can pray this and I can pray that, but it's no, it's really the Holy Spirit praying. So anyway, I'm so thankful. I thought of that third one, y'all. I just want to say that God is good. I really want to practice what I preach. I don't just want to talk. I want to walk too. So be blessed. And like I say, if you have any comments or, 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 you know, if you know any kind of experiences you had similar, let me know and we could talk about, okay, be blessed. And, um, I will come back up here next time and give some more videos in Jesus name.